Hey everybody, this is Isaac Wardell from BesidedSocialMarketing.com and in this video we're going to take a look at your Google Plus profile. Now you're probably familiar with if you go to search online, uh, for instance for me, you will find that I've got my Google profile comes up uh, up top here. Now as a social media expert in this industry I want my profile to be public and I want it to be found and I want it to be keyword rich so that all of you can find it and uh, have my links etc but I understand that a lot of you may not want this and so I'm going to show you where you can edit those settings and where you can even edit your profile so if you come back to your Google Plus uh, area here you will notice that uh, if we come up here we've got the circles profile and photos if you come to profile uh, you've got what your page would look like to everybody else and then you can click the about tab now the about tab is really in my opinion what your profile is uh, really is it's similar to the info tab on Facebook except that it has a little more features when you come over here obviously pictures etc now there's uh, you can edit the profile by just clicking the edit profile button you can put your links to like your Facebook website YouTube whatever there note that the first three will show up in a Google search if you have your profile set to public and I'm going to show you to do that in a minute. The introduction that's the basically all the information about you same as it would be on an info tab. You've got uh, your occupation, your employment, all that same stuff that we see on a Facebook info and here's where you can all reach all that relationship etc. Now uh, you've got the option for a nickname but here's the uh, here's the search visibility this uh, checkbox right here is whether it's allowed to be publicly indexed by Google and the other search engines or not. If you uncheck that, a little message pops up says unchecking this box will prevent your profile by being indexed by most search engines. So that's how you uh, make it non-visible to just the general Google searches and what not there if you're wanting to keep it a little more private. Or if you are wanting to, if you're someone like me who's more in that social media space and or any other expert space or somewhere where your name's your brand and you definitely want it uh, public out there you can just leave that box check marked and it will be indexed by the search engines and if it's not showing up yet you can always give it a ping from some place like pingler.com etc to try to get it indexed a little bit faster uh, mine showed up right away I know some other people that are still waiting for uh, Google and whatnot to find them and you can just click done editing when you're done and that's your profile it'll show up uh, online here if you've got it public and you can just you know when you click on it you get that public version of it um, I've also uh, allowed my some, most of my posts to be public so in this case you could see my public post and whatnot uh, etc I hope this was helpful to you in editing your profile and deciding if it should be private or public. Hey, if you like this video, we've got several more Google Plus videos that we're releasing over the next few days on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash besidedsm. If you just want to head over there and hit the subscribe, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.